Hey legends, this is Magnus. How you doing? In this video, I'm reacting to a video from Hello Who. This is a, a YouTuber I've never heard of before, honestly. But I'm reacting to this video. The truth about DreamWorks versus Disney. Why DreamWorks is better. Okay, so I'm going to listen to this. I'm going to listen to this YouTuber, YouTuber's opinion. And then I will give my thoughts on it. But the most I will say here with this thumbnail this is all like this is a nitpick uh, granted but i noticed at least by this by this thumbnail for dreamworks this youtuber used a number of dreamworks uh properties from multiple different years while with disney he uses pixar characters and one disney char character on here which are re most recent like he has, okay, he has Death and Puss from Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Okay, that's fine. Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon 3. Metro Man from Megamind. And Tai Lung, Kai, and Poe and po from Kung Fu Panda. Each from, di I'm guessing, from different. Poe, you can get it from anywhere. Tai Lung, uh, Kung Fu Panda 1. Kai from Kung Fu Panda 3. So you're using multiple different examples while with Disney, one, you only use one character from the, the actual company you're talking about. Oh, and from the same, like, same, uh, circle of, of years. So, let's just get straight into the video. Comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Hope you enjoy it. React to my madness. Thank you so much for 102 subscribers. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> if you don't like Turner Red, which is a Pixar movie, fine. Fine. Pixar, Pixar, Disney. Perfect. Perfect? Perfection? And this is from somebody who loves the bad guys. This is from somebody who loves the bad guys. That's puss it that I mean sorry, that's Pixar. Okay. All right. I'm sorry that I had to pause it. I had some knee jerk reactions. So let's let's go. Let me go through this again, and just speak. Okay. Uh. 
again, you use Pixar. And I say this because let somebody say that Despicable Me or Super Mario Bros. movie is a universal movie. Fans of those fans of those movies and the Super Mario movie when it comes out, they will immediately say that it's an Illumination movie. And when I see these shorts on YouTube, they make the distinction to say DreamWorks versus Illumination versus Disney. They make the distinction that Illumination made those animated movies. They don't mess. They don't confuse it with Universal. Disney, however, they just use Pixar and Disney like they're the same exact thing when they're not. Okay, at least he's will. At least he isn't out here saying that DreamWorks is perfect. At least he's will. He's not one of those people. Fair, fair. And then try. Okay, triumph. You call. I'm sorry. I love I love Mega Mind, but you gonna call Mega Mind a triumph? You like it's a great movie, but I would call a triumph something like your other two, no, the other three that have sequels or trilogy. Mega Mind didn't get such and lost to Despicable Me. <laughs> That's so I'm at least insulted by saying Shark Tale is trash. <laughs> That's just me. I think that depends. Eh, I haven't seen it in a while. Now, my first thought is that you're talking about just kids. But. Okay. Okay, at least he'll, he can he admits that. Okay. Why don't you you Okay. So All right. Can we use Encanto as an example? Like is Encanto not valid in this argument? That's the one thing. This was not promoted. Uh, first of all, Strange World was barely promoted at all. So that's one do downside to this mo movie that I enjoy. It was not promoted at all. And then, so then somebody in the team said that there was a gay character. Secondly, secondly, it was not a big. Secondly, I would call promoting a gay character in the movie as a big deal. If it was a identifying example of their of that person's character, or it or it's a big deal at any time it's brought up, and the plot the flaw with that is throughout the entire movie, whenever it's brought up, it is not a big deal. If you replace Diazo with a girl, literally, if you replace Diazo with a girl, girl, it's the exact same thing. It is that interchangeable, and that's how it should be, at least. least. Like, if you want to use an actual... There are other shows where they make it clear that the identification of somebody is, is the only character trait they have. Strange World didn't do that. It was the people, some of the people promoting the film that did that, but the movie did not do that at all. If they were wanting to promote oh, that character trait, they would have done it in the trailers. They would have done it more prominently when they didn't do that. Pixar movie. 
Pixar movie and for and granted a niche audience. Again, Pixar movie, more of a niche audience. Strange World, that's fair. There you have finally gave a good example. Fair. Fair crit that's fair. Perfect perfection. <laughs> perfection. The storyline is perfect. I like I like this movie a lot. Even I can tell there were flaws in, in this. Is for example, I will just say the Crimson Paw. What I all I'm saying is this. The Crimson Paw is only mentioned one time at the beginning of the film, and then it is mentioned when Diane Foxington is turned out to be the Crimson Paw. In between that time, there is no mention of it. So if it was hyped up a little bit more, or that revelation would have hit better. That's a that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Because I hear because often Disney movies are criticized for its plot plot twists. One either because there are too many or that it wasn't done right. True. True. Fair. Which I agree is an amazing movie. They had no reason to go this hard, but I'm happy they did. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. That's <laughs> that's fair. That's a all right then. And exactly that. That's directed at me and other Disney fans, of course. Pixar did it right. <laughs> True. 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 Are you gonna mention the other villains in this piece? Because everybody keep every like I understand why y'all love death because he don't get me wrong he's amazing he's amazing but he, one I wouldn't even say uh, it's hard for me to wonder if death would be a villain or just an antagonist because he's more just a force of nature. He's more of a force of nature and definitely an antagonist to the film. But he's not the main villain of the film. So are we going to are you also going to mention Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Or are you gonna mention uh big big Jack Horner? Are you gonna mention that them? So do uh, other Disney movies. Movies. I could <laughs> It is a very good soundtrack. It is. It is. Not everybody, but there's all. Okay, I also get chills from from that whistle, but you also gotta understand. Not everyone likes the wolf, and some people loved it. But but once it got to the internet, so I've heard some people say say they don't like the wolf now because people hyped him up so so much, or now just think he's the best thing ever. Not everyone likes, not everyone likes death. I do, but I understand that there are some people that don't like Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. What do you mean? Wait. wait, wait. I need to look at how often DreamWorks puts out a movie versus Pixar. Disney generally puts out a movie because, as far as I know, the ones that I can think of Disney Disney movies at Disney anime movies that came out recently, other than the live action remakes, 
would be Strange World, Encanto, Raya the Last Dragon, and then and then Moana. Those and then Fro- Frozen Two, of course. Frozen Two. Those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head that have come out in the in the recent years, spanning a long span of top time. DreamWorks has put out Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. Ish. Bad guys. What came out before? Okay, what did they make before that? What did they make before that? Shoot. Shoot. I can't remember. What was the last movie they put out? The Boss Baby 2. Boss Baby 2. Um, They put out Boss Baby 2. Then. Shoot. And I just there's there's that. What about Boss Baby? You didn't bring that up. You didn't bring you didn't bring up Boss Baby. You didn't bring like you. <laughs> and then um. So okay, at least you're able to admit that uh DreamWorks flaws. But at least use some more examples of where at least more examples where y'all may have slipped up. What about Storks? I hope that I believe that's a that's a DreamWorks movie. Storks, Boss Baby, Boss Baby Two. Uh, what else? Because yes, Disney Disney has made movies that pe- some people don't like. Like, but first of all, then if you're talking about P- Pixar, Pixar is a different story as well. Turning Red, Knee Shot, yes. It's a niche film for a niche audience, and there's nothing wrong with that, that in my opinion, because <sighs> Pixar started off swinging, hitting home runs, and to me, that is a good and a bad thing. That was a good thing because they gained recognition for the great work that they did from the start. The problem with that is when you start doing at, like what everyone else does, when you do average films, do more average stuff and not going beyond the stars people say it's a downgrade which is why when you start out small with average stuff and then go up up you get better and better so if i had to choose between pixar making like the bangers that they did from the start and and then what we have now versus what we have now and then the big ones i would i would want to switch it around to see what it would look like now, um, depending on, I do look forward to, to see what happens with, because I'm going to see Pixar's Elemental, and I plan on also seeing DreamWorks' Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. Depending on how those two films are, whether it comes down to characters, writing, being story, all stuff like that, that, that can give us a, another testament. As far as Pixar versus DreamWorks, when it comes to Disney, Disney versus DreamWorks, uh, Disney's Wish, the movie Wish is coming out, and that's going to be like a Disney princess musical movie. So, let's. I wonder how that one's gonna also go. So, in certain ways, yes, in certain ways, DreamWorks is better than Disney. I am not going to fault you all. DreamWorks is better than Disney in many ways, many ways, and that could be because of the the standard that they're held versus Disney, because Disney is honestly held to a higher standard, higher standard on certain things than DreamWorks is. For example, Puss in Boots: The Last Wish with Perito and the cursing scenes. Um, I sure and Warner Bro- Warner Brothers with Super Pets and the cursing cursing scenes being bleeped out. Let Disney let Disney try. Let if Disney did the same thing, they would get you would get people getting mad because with Puss and Boots the Last Wish, there are no complaints as far as I can tell from from those. Those are are see are met with laughter and hysteria. Like people love that scene. If Disney did the same thing, in in they would get get. Ups, it would make parents and so upset, and they would get be 
because they're held to a higher standard. They would get more backlash, in my, at least in my opinion. Um, but let's not forget that Disney is better than DreamWorks in other ways because, because at least when it comes to Disney is probably undeniably the best when it comes to musicals. When it comes to musical movies, Disney is, is undefeated at least in my eyes and memory, undefeated. And then, let's talk, then, just just to think about it, what about shows? The shows that DreamWorks has put out versus shows that Disney Channel has come out. Now, immediately off the top of, off, off the bat, many of y'all will say that's not fair because Disney has made way more. But again, qual- if it's quality, if quality over quantity is, is the deal, deal, then let's think about it because okay we do have how to train your dragon riders of burke you have how to train your dragon rage to the edge um boss baby back in business oh what else you have puss in boots boots series is which i honestly want to see um oh man what are some other series that they made a mega mind show is coming up which i look forward to um, I need to see what other shows they possibly have, but then when you compare it to Disney, what about Disney with, and of course, you, the top ones you think of are things like Lilo and Stitch, the series, Kim Possible, Proud Family, Gravity Falls, Amphibia, Owl House, Phineas and Ferb, Ferb, and that's at least animated, DuckTales, those, um, like those are the animated shows. So, this is honestly a war that's good. This is something, like I say in my Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken video, like, like I do want that movie to honestly kind of start a war between DreamWorks and Disney fans, but it's all on that war has honestly been has been there, it's been around, and this is adding more fuel to the fire. So, yes. DreamWorks is better than Disney, but but don't sit here thinking that Disney isn't better than DreamWorks in a few ways. Thank you, Legends, so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you, Hello Who, for making this video for me to be able to react to. Who? And maybe the maybe your maybe your truth is hard for me to listen to, hard for me to take in. In but I'm at least going to watch some more movies more Disney movies and stuff with a smile on my face. And I'm also going to check out Dis DreamWorks stuff with a smile on my face. Peace. Please comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please react to my madness. Thank you so much for 102 subscribers as of the recording of this video. I will see y'all in the next one. Oh, and also just thinking on it, Dis sorry think about the disney speed store disney at least has vi video games games now of course i've seen hot train your dragon and kung fu panda games but um i haven't yet i haven't yet to see a full-out dreamworks video game release so so dreamworks what what y'all waiting for see y'all later